is Angel Lunda and this is the ATD YouTube channel in English. Uh, here we have a high voltage uh, battery from a RAV, uh, a Toyota RAV4 model from uh, 2015 year. I'm going, I'm going to show you uh, its parts and its function. Uh, we have uh, in the left uh, side of uh, this battery uh, 16 uh, modules and in the right side we have 18 modules. In total we have 34 modules. They are connected in series and its voltage uh, um, they, they sum its voltage uh, when they are connected in series and the nominal voltage of this battery is 244 volts. Uh, the capacity of this battery is 6.5 amps hour, same as each module. Okay, it's important that you know that uh, uh, every or uh, every high voltage battery in hybrid or electric vehicle uh, are the sum of many uh, modules connected in series and always the voltage uh, increase uh, and the capacity is the same when we connect in series. Uh, however, if we connect in parallel, uh, voltage keep constant and uh, capacity increases. Okay, so uh, the voltage of these uh, connections, series connections, is in between uh, these two wires. Uh, now the uh, high voltage is disconnected because here I have the service plug. Um, so uh, the high voltage is connected here and when the power control unit uh, is uh, excited, when these three relays or contactors are excited, uh, the high voltage across uh, the power control module and goes to the inverter converter assembly. Uh, these uh, relays or contactors are uh, managed, are excited uh, by the hybrid control unit. Uh, here we have two, uh, we have the uh, current sensor and uh, we have here a connection uh, for uh, the uh, coil of this contactor. So uh, one connector here is from uh, uh, is to connect uh, or excite these relays. Here we have a resistor that is used to uh, supply to the initial connection and uh, is used too for uh, the disconnection, for disconnect, to verify the relays or the contactors. Uh, now we are going to some uh, to do some measures. Uh, I'm going to put here the multimeter. I'm going to turn on the multimeter. Try to uh, be Train, try to know what you are doing with high voltage because it's dangerous. I'm going to use my uh, insulating gloves, class zero. Uh, now I'm going to measure. Uh, oh, uh, I'm going to measure the voltage between the main wires the end of the series connection. So if you uh, see the multimeter there, I'm going to uh, measure the voltage between these two wires. 
the negative and the positive of the series. Uh, as we have the high voltage uh, connect connector, the safety connector, the service plug connector uh, outside, uh, it's disconnect. So the voltage must to be zero here. So we have here zero volts, so now it's safe to work with this battery. Obviously, obviously we have here a two set, two group of modules, they are connected now, so if I touch the initial and the end of uh, this series, we uh, have uh, around uh, 120 volts, but it's very uh, difficult to connect or to touch uh, those poles. Um, however, I recommend you uh, to uh, learn about how to manage, how to work with this uh, high voltage system. So now I'm going to connect this cervix plug and this located here. Now the high voltage is applied to these two wires. I'm going to uh, measure here and here 258 volts. Now uh, we have um, high voltage, so <laughs> it's very important to know uh, very, uh, very well what are you doing. But now the relays, the contactors are open, so if I uh, measure after the power control unit, we have zero volts. So contactors are open and the inverter converter assembly will not receive any voltage. Now I'm going to disconnect the uh, connection. Uh, as you can see we have here two big pins for a high voltage uh, system for current. Uh, in the back uh, we have a fuse, the main fuse, around 125 uh, amps fuse and here you have the inner lock uh, pins for inner lock circuit and this inner lock circuit is used to know if connector is uh, applied or not. Okay, now when connector, when, when this uh, service plug disconnected, disconnected, we will have zero volts. Zero volts, so it's uh, safe. Okay, so um, the other thing you have to know is that uh, when battery is uh, charging or discharging, the current through it uh, produces uh, heat. So battery needs to be, uh, or battery needs a cooling system. Here you can see two big uh, fan, uh, and these uh, fans are used to. Uh, reduce the uh, temperature of the modules. We have here uh, the input temperature sensor and below, uh, in the bottom of, uh, below the set, uh, we have the uh, temperature sensor for modules, okay? So the air uh, come in uh, from uh, the cabin, the air uh, comes from the cabin, from the, from the interior of the, of the car, uh, so it's better 
for the battery and then it goes down goes down and then goes up to the uh, atmosphere to the outside of the car okay so I'm going to uh, show you uh, a, a view from this part with the camera to see more details now from this view uh, we uh, see uh, the serious connection with uh, very uh, little piece of metal uh, we have here positive, negative, positive, negative so they are uh, uh, connected uh, positive with negative, positive with negative they are in series then uh, also you uh, can see the uh, volts uh, sensor uh, these uh, wires uh, are used to uh, measure the uh, voltage of uh, blocks uh, a, blocks, a block is a, a connection of two models two models is a block so the BMS controls uh, each uh, block blocks uh, voltage okay so uh, behind the uh, power control module we have the uh, battery management system the control unit who supervise the uh, temperature the voltage of the blocks and uh, the current uh, sensor remember that uh, this uh, current sensor is used to know how many current uh, goes out or come in for um, discharging or char charging okay uh, the big uh, contactors are positive and negative the uh, little one is the precharge the resistor and that's uh, this is the connector for the coil uh, of these three uh, relays or contactors okay so uh, I hope you learn more about this high voltage system uh, thank you for watching